In the recent years, we've seen how the internet changes. The only thing that stays the same is what we use to browse this internet. A lot of people stuck with standard options, either it's Chrome or Safari, or sometimes people experiment with Firefox, let's say. But what if I tell you that there is absolutely new way on how you can browse the internet? The way that will allow you to organize everything the way you want, rather than going in Chrome and clicking through all of the tabs trying to find the right one. So in this video, I would like to introduce you to a new browser called Stack. We will dive into the features of this browser and see how they reimagine the internet and your behavior with the internet. And you will see why their team calls it a productivity tool rather than a browser. So let's dive right into it. So the Stack browser is currently in the beta phase. The team behind it trying to implement all of the features to make it a full-scale browser. Right now, it's more of a productivity tool. I will show you what they did to reimagine the surface of your screen to basically fit more information within it and why they call it a spatial browser. So within the Stack browser, they have much more levels of organization than your usual browser like Chrome. So let's dive into this browser. So as you can see, it's super minimalistic. Whenever you start, you have a start here button. So this is where you will open your first card. We will go through the level of depth that they are using, but there is a lot of organizational points that you can use within this browser. And the cards will be your beginning, right? So let's open, let's say YouTube in here. And as you can see right now, we have a card and within the card, we have a tab. In order to create additional cards, you basically can just click the plus in here or click command O as you can see. Once you do that, you can open additional cards that will live within the same stack. So this is why the browser called stack. Uh, so let me open uh, Twitter. So let's say this stack of cards will be my social medias that I browse, right? So let me open several of them. So one will be a Twitter, another will be, let's say a Facebook, and let's do one more that will be, let's say LinkedIn. So as you can see, the first difference from your usual browser is that I can scroll through my tabs horizontally. So I don't need to like click between them. Uh, if I want to, I can click through them with the mouse. On my left, you can see the menu of my stack, right? And you can see all of them. If I click Command Escape, I will open something that they call Yoke. So this is a quick navigation system through your tabs. Right now we have only one stack. So I will show you how you can do it like horizontally. So as you can see by clicking A and D, I can uh, navigate through my uh, cards. But what I can do as well is that let's say I would like the Twitter to be smaller window on my side. Uh, as you can see, we have these resized numbers. So if I will click five, it will basically do the half of the size of my Twitter. So right now I can do a split screen really easily. So let's say I would like Twitter to be half screen. Then for the Facebook, I would like to be half screen as well. LinkedIn can be full screen. And then uh, let's maybe even make Twitter like three. Yeah, here we go. So right now I can comfortably navigate through my Twitter feed without interrupting any of my other browsing experience. So I don't need a Twitter full screen, right? I can just navigate the feed this way. So the next cool thing is that let's say within a card, so within my YouTube card, I would like to open several videos that I will watch later. So what I can do is that I can pin my YouTube card basically. So uh, now the card understands that the YouTube is the main kind of URL for the card. And now within my feed, I can start opening videos that I will want to watch later on. And all of them will appear in here. So from my menu of stacks on the left, as you can see, I have just one YouTube card. But within this card, I have several tabs pre-opened, right? So I can now jump through these tabs and watch them. If I want to close all of my tabs within this card, I can just click this small icon in here or do a shortcut for Command Shift K and it will remove all of the videos that they opened, but it will not close the card. This is really neat feature to keep your browser clean. As you can see from my YouTube UI, uh, the browser has built-in ad blocker, so I don't have the ads for YouTube in here, or if I open Google, uh, I won't have the ads in here as well. But there is even more features to organize your browser experience better. So I can open additional stack of cards. So let's say I will open something related to shopping. So I will open uh, Amazon and now I can dedicate this card to be my shopping card. So within here, I can also pin the Amazon. I can open the products that I'm interested in. Let's say I would like to open some additional research tabs. So I will open a card for, uh, let's do cry precision. 
and uh, I can open some additional brands, etc., and do my research in here. I can also uh, change the navigation in here. So, for example, for this one, I can do it like half the size, etc., and compare the prices between two different stores and see where my purchase will be better. Next, what I can do is that let's say if this icon is not visible within my stack, so what I can do is that I can pin the tab and then I can click on the icon and change the icon and let's say it's some uh, shopping, right? And now it will change in here as well. So my navigation is easier this way. Now let's say I have one more project which will be something personal. Let's say it's uh, my website and I would also want to explore new themes on the theme forest. And I would also want to explore, let's say some uh, WordPress inspirations. And we will open several websites within this card. And uh, now let me show you how the yoke navigation shines within the space view. So on my very top, I can go to the space view or click command shift and the backslash and it will open a completely new view. So right now using my yoke, so using this navigation in the middle in here, I can quickly go through all of the websites that are open and I can seamlessly jump between the stacks that I've created and navigate between them. I can also resize my experience in here. So let's say I want LinkedIn to be smaller and uh, Facebook don't need to be this big either. Uh, now for my website, let's say I would like my website to be smaller, so it will be kind of in mobile view. But in here I can do it on the 8 and this I can do on 6 as well. And to, to jump in, I just click enter. And now I have a seamless navigation between all of the cards within the stacks. I can see my website in a mobile view. I can start looking for a WordPress themes within the theme forest. Next, by clicking command escape, I can enable the yoke and navigate through all of the other cars that I have within my browser. I have never experienced a browser with such a seamless navigation between everything you do, but it gets even better. If I will click Command Shift L, it will open something called Spatial. And in here, you can do almost anything with your browser. So in here, you can choose the themes for your browser. I can also navigate to the already open tab. So let's say I would like to go to this Google Ads tab that I had before, or by clicking that, I can also jump to my YouTube really quick. And as you can see, it navigates to them really smoothly. So the animation here is beautiful. If this level of depth and hierarchy within your browser is not enough, what you can do is that you can click on the spaces and you can create a new space. So in here, within the business, I can open uh, my business tabs that I work on. So let's say it will be my business YouTube. Let's say I will open in YouTube with also like with, uh, with IQ. I will also open uh, Google Trends uh, to research new video ideas, etc. And I can quickly resize everything. So it will be beautiful and easy to work with, right? It gets even better once you will start using the profiles. So if you have several profiles on Twitter, on YouTube, or on any app that you are using, what you can do is that you can either pre-open them using different spaces, as I showed you, or you can do the same with the cards. So let's say this YouTube card will be logged into my personal account to watch videos. And as you can see, it will pre-open my profile in here. And then I can open additional cards for YouTube and I can switch one to my business one. So now I have two cards of YouTube opened in different profiles. So if I will open the yoke, I can quickly again resize everything. I can navigate to my YouTube and I can have two different YouTube accounts side by side within the same browser. So if you're using Chrome, you know that within the Chrome, it will basically open you a full new browser window that uh, will be logged into this account. But in here, I can seamlessly navigate between two of them. So for people like me who work within digital marketing and have dozens of Google accounts, this feature is a crucial. I can log into all of the, my clients' accounts and be within them within the same window, within the same browser. This combined with a simplified navigation allows me to work faster within my browser. As you've seen so far, the browser works super fast, but to make it even faster, you can do the following thing. You can navigate to the space and within the spaces, as you can see, we have this uh, shortcut for sleep. So I can just send all of these tabs to sleep so they won't use the resources of the browser. So as for customization, as you saw, I can really quickly navigate to the themes within my uh, spatial menu in here and and I can go through them in here, or I can also do the same within the settings. And within the settings, I can also change the position of my space bar. So right now, as you can see, I change it to the bottom. I can also change it to the left, as I had it in the beginning of the video. To learn more about the browser, you can always click Command Shift L and go to the Getting Started guide. 
and this guide will basically take you through everything that you can do within the browser. So as I mentioned, this browser is still in beta and they're developing a lot of features right now. So one of the features is the multiplayer. So this allows you basically to jump on a call and share the screen and navigate within the same browser with your coworkers or your friends. This makes online troubleshooting much, much easier. Or for example, you can also use it within your corporate onboarding process. So I can basically share my space with a coworker and then we can navigate through the space together, I can show them how everything is done, what websites we are using, what accounts they need, and then complete the onboarding this way. So let's quickly dive into the pricing for everything. So the browser, everything I showed you is free. So I use the two spaces, you get them for free, then you have the three color schemes limitation. You have unlimited number of profiles. So if you want to log into all of your accounts, you will be able to do so without purchase anything. And the team promises that all of the browsing essentials, so everything that you need day to day will always be free. They won't charge you for that. If you want more and if you want to support the project, they have a lifetime subscription available. This this will support the team, this will allow them to create new features, this will grandfather you into all of the features that they will build out in the future, including the multiplayer feature that I showed you. And you can get this lifetime access with 15% discount using my link below. As you can see, the lifetime licenses are limited and each one of them is tied to NFT. So once you will purchase that, this is how they grandfather you in. And the thing is that once you purchase one lifetime license, you will be able to onboard your co-workers, I believe up to 30 people, but it may change into your lifetime license so you don't have to purchase additional ones for all of them. With this stack browser you can actually reach out to development team and ask them to fix this or this or add a new feature. So in here you can see the roadmap. As you can see right now the Chrome extensions are not yet supported but they will be by the mid next month. You will also get the bookmarks then the stack browser should be done uh, closer to the end of this year and they will also add a uh, built-in the password manager. So I would say it's a great time to jump into this browser and start exploring it. If you found any value in this video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel as I make a lot of videos like that and in here you can find my overviews on Arc and Sigma browsers which are also great options if this is something you're interested in. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!